All right, so as you can see, I kind of lined up everything. Um, I put one bolt in here and I reattached the uh, return spring here for the priming block, which is already in uh, on that screw there. Uh, I'm going to start putting the bolts back in so this all kind of holds together. Uh, we'll put the stock on and it should be good to go. Put the mega release back in. Um, the safety, there's a piece for the safety that I didn't even see come out. So I may just leave it out. Um, and that is this piece. It's plastic and it's already starting to break. So. I'm probably just going to leave the safety out. I left the safety out of my um, bays. Same reason, don't need it. Um, at least I don't. Um, but yeah, we're going to put everything back together here and uh, throw in some springs and see what it fires. So see you guys in a second. I screw up one thing. Um, this is not supposed to be there. That's supposed to be back there. So let me take this all off, put this back on, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, we got it back in the right place here. Now we can start putting the uh, the pins in. Uh, the good thing is um, these pieces that came out of the two parts that were up here, you don't need these because uh, that's a solid piece now. I'm gonna keep them just in case because I always keep pieces just in case. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna throw all the pins in, put the catch back in, put the sock back on, and we should be good to go. So see you guys when it's all back together. All right guys, we got the war scene basically back together. Um, the only thing that we have to do is put on the stock. Now, this is where it gets interesting. This is where you can actually change out your spring. So without the stock on, because this is the stock spring that came into, you would put this in here over the plunger rod, you know, just like that. Then you put the end in there and uh, basically put the four bolts in to hold it in and you're good to go. But we are going to use an upgraded spring. Uh, we'll try the one that they sold with it and see how that does first, which is this guy. So you see it has a little bit in. This thing's a little bit wider, not by much, but we'll go ahead and try it. So there we go. Put that into there. I'm going to put these four bolts in, put it together, and then... Uh, We'll go over and try to uh, fire it. Now, I will say when I put it together, you will need uh, one of the screws that you took out for here. That's the hold in the barrel. Tighten it enough to where the barrel won't move because this will. Uh, and you need that too to prime the blaster. But um, the barrel should not be moving um, because I was pushing this in. It was actually going all the way in. And I was like, okay, that's not good. So you don't want the barrel to move. So you do put a um, screw in there to hold it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this together and then uh, we'll go ahead and go test. Alright guys, here we are at the door with the uh, newly upgraded metal internal uh, war saint. Now, I load up uh, five rounds of the just, you know, your general worker Gen 3 Plus starts. Um, I've already tried it. It is a mean prime. Not too bad, but, you know, mean enough. So, stock, this was getting 190. Let's see what it gets now. Two fifty seven, two fifty seven again, two fifty seven again, two fifty nine, two fifty eight. Not too shabby of an upgrade, I would say. Uh, mostly that's thanks to the spring and the barrel. Um, so thank you to uh, M416 for sending out that uh, barrel that you guys thought that you had wrong, but uh, actually turned out to be the perfect size. Um, I will probably switch out the spring and show what the uh, Prophecy N28 Long does um, in a short, because this video is already long enough as is. Um, but yeah, if you guys... Uh, Want to get the metal kit? I'll leave it down below. As I said, I did order the other three pieces. Um, I might do a short on that later uh, down the line. Um, but for now, yeah, pick one up if you want to do this. So, highly recommend this barrel, the spring. Um, the metal parts, mostly just for a shiny show, I think. Um, but it will 
help the uh, longevity of the blaster. Um, but yeah, very nice upgrade. I like it a lot. Um, other than that, guys, happy 4th. Be safe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Please like, subscribe, share as always. And I'll see you guys later. All right? Bye.